Have you ever seen a movie where you got some guys running through some thick trees, like just a forest of trees being chased by bad guys, and those bad guys are shooting at them? They got bullets hitting trees, going through trees. It got me thinking just how good are trees at stopping bullets. So I found two ginormous tree stumps, and I brought them out here to the shooting range, and we're gonna see what these tree stumps can stop. This guy right here weighs probably about 80 pounds, and then this guy behind it weighs probably 60 pounds. They're big, they're, they're really big, they're really heavy, and I think they're gonna be great at stopping bullets. Obviously, it would be cool to like shoot a living tree, but I'm not gonna do that. I just barely helped Mr. Beast plant 20 million trees, so these were recently chopped down by the firemen. I saw them doing it, and they just left a bunch of the stumps there, so I grabbed a couple, and here we are. We're gonna shoot them with a bunch of guns, starting out with the 22 long rifle. I'm gonna put three rounds in the 22 long rifle. It's not going through. The bullets are too small. I cannot even see where I hit this thing. So maybe I hit, okay, yep, there they are. So I hit right there, right there, and right there. It didn't go through. I had brought multiple pieces of cardboard to put one in between here and one behind here so that we knew if they were actually going through the trees, we would see a little hole in the cardboard. I think they blew out of my truck on the drive here and I didn't see. So I'm gonna try and put some garbage bags in between them and hopefully we'll still be able to tell if there's like a rip. It's the best I got in my truck. I had cardboard, but it blew away. Okay, gonna be starting off with the nine millimeter full metal jacket. Came up a little closer for this one. Here we go. Now the 45 ACP. If you did not see the video earlier this week with this gun, did an awesome torture test with it. Check that out. Does not look like either of them went through the first log. I don't think so. The bag looks fine. I can see where I'm hitting on the trunk of it, like some bark will shatter off and stuff, but nothing has gone through yet. Time to move up to the rifle rounds. Actually, I lied. I wanna see what a number six steel shot will do out of this 12 gauge. So, number six into the 12 gauge, here we go. Hopefully you can see them on the camera, but there's all these little holes from the BBs from that steel shot. None of them went through though. You could survive a shotgun if you're hiding behind a tree. Now, I do think that this 223 is gonna go through the first one. It probably won't go through both of them. These things are just moving so dang fast. It's possible. So, here we go. I didn't see any dust or anything fly up back there, but one more just to be safe. I'm gonna come more over here too. I think if you're being chased through a forest with bad guys shooting at you, I think it's safe to say that they might be using an AR-15. It's just, it's a very popular gun, semi-automatic, so they can get lots of bullets down range. So yeah, I think that is a pretty good test. Let's see here. Still, I'm not seeing very well where I hit on the stump. Still no holes on this, on this bag. Gonna go with the 308 next. These are 180 grain out of the 308. Don't know what to expect here, but hopefully we get a bigger hole so we can at least see where we're hitting. I did not see any dust. I always forget my water when I'm out here on the range. I just wanna get out here before people get here so that it's not busy. And I always seem to forget my water. I still am not able to tell where I hit this. I think I hit one right there. I kind of shot it at the more narrow part of the log and it did go through that first one. The 50 BMG out of the case comes in two pieces. I've gotten to the point where I can get this thing set up and taken down in less than a minute. Getting pretty good at it. Alrighty, gonna send one downrange first, see what happens. If we need more, I'll send more down. <coughs> My goodness, gonna need to shower after that one. Got me all dusty. I honestly couldn't see if there was any dust splashed up behind it because there was so much dust in front of me. I can't even see where I hit. I think I hit right there. Let's knock this thing over. Okay, yeah, now we're in business. All of these wood chips fell out. There is the hole from the 50 caliber. And holy cow. Ouch, that's hot. Ow. We caught 
the 50 caliber in this second tree. It, it's stuck in the second tree. It's right there. It's hot. It completely just broke this thing apart. Where the heck is the rest of it? Okay, now I'm a little bit confused after poking around in here, and here's why. So we have two holes. This is where that bullet was stuck. Digging around in there, I don't think it goes all the way through. It's, it stops. Then we have this hole. I don't know what that's from, but you probably can't see it, but there is a bullet stuck in there. I can see the bullet and it's more intact than just like shards of bullet. It's like a full bullet in there and I don't know what bullet it is. So I don't know if the one that's stuck in there that I can see is the 50 cal and the one that I pulled out pieces of was the 308. I just don't know but either way none of these bullets went all the way through and there is a bullet stuck in there right now and I won't be able to get it out. There's no way, it's impossible. I should have brought like an ax. Didn't think about it. If you are being chased by bad guys and there is a forest next to you, dart into the forest because if it's thick trees, you will be safe from bullets. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really do appreciate it. Even though this is still a very small channel, you guys are watching the videos and it means a lot. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys next week.